When the son of a clan leader returns to his village following his baptism, he must choose whether to inherit his father's legacy or fulfill his newfound purpose in life. There's a story of where the river divides, a film inspired by a true story and which is our focus tonight on our weekly segment, Cinemas and Theatre. Where the River Divides is a story that follows the journey of the son of a respected clan leader who, upon his return to his village, following his baptism, finds himself at a crossroads, torn between two divergent paths. On one hand, he stands to inherit his father's esteemed legacy, a role laden with expectations, traditions and responsibilities. On the other hand, he is faced with the allure of a newfound purpose, Christianity. Despite the conflict the protagonist in the film must face, the film's overarching message is one of unity and shared human experiences transcending linguistic and religious boundaries. Where the river divides its uh, timepiece, a film that was uh, inspired by a man called Dennis, who, whose life was very interesting. It's not like most of us who've lived and have had persecution from our parents. So him, because of his religious belief, he was ostracized and to the point of being killed. Our desire and inspiration was to make it a story that can transform people's lives. The cast comprises only law speaking actors since the setup and premise was in the law culture. We needed to find cast in Nairobi who are all laws and uh, we used uh, a casting director. It's called Isaiah Evans. We auditioned them around COVID. It was during COVID uh, 2020. COVID also delayed uh, us filming because of the restrictions and some of the crew members were coming from the US. So we, had, we lost actually some of the cast members in between that process, but eventually got the people we wanted. Set in a tight knit village in Migori County, Isaac Masiga, the film producer, notes the location plays a big role in determining the outcome of the film. So because it was a timepiece, we had to make sure that the cast looked and felt and uh, behaved like they were doing in the 70s. We needed an environment that had uh, a pen for cows, where cows were, you know, sleeping. Uh, and then uh, a community uh, looking house. Uh, and we ended up finding uh, Thimlich Ohinga historical site. In your side, Jesu Christo Mala Amoni. My main uh, desire is to see the film industry grow to where it is right now. And uh, the only way to do it is to get a lot of stakeholders involved in supporting local artists, local talents, and uh, bodies like Kenya Film Commission can even uh, help to alleviate some of the charges with, to do with location fees, to do with flying drones, I mean, uh, or even importation of equipment, uh, you know, filming equipment. So I think it will take the film industry to a very different level. Originally filmed in Toluo, where the river divides, has also been translated into both Kiswahili and English. Uh, right now it's available on my movies Africa, and they can go there and, uh, you know, like, just look it up. Apart from other films that are there, uh, where the river divides uh, is there, and, uh, yeah, they can find it there. Jacqueline Masharia. For cinemas and theater.